iPhone 14, the rumored and leaked iPhone 14, is supposed to be a game changer in Apple devices. It's supposed to be a big redesign, possibly the biggest iPhone redesign ever. It's supposed to bring tons of features and capabilities to the iPhone, you know, make it ahead of a competition. And yeah, and the more I think about it, the more I think that it's true and false at the same time. So let me explain. But before I do, if you're gonna enjoy this video, if you're gonna like the content, make sure to like and subscribe. And now without wasting unnecessary time, let's talk about iPhone 14 because, you know, ever since before the iPhone 13 lineup, the 14 started being rumored, having no notch, having hole punch design, uh, USB-C, faster processor, which is always the case, by the way, uh, some big upgrades to the camera, redesign and stuff like that. And yeah, this is a big deal because, you know, Apple isn't really known for redesigning their devices that much. The last, like, kind of a major redesign we got was uh, the iPhone 12 Pro because, you know, it brought back the squared of edges, but it was still a very similar phone to the 11 Pro, you know, with the exception of the squared of edges, still the same glass on the back, three camera lenses, front was identical with the same notch. So it wasn't that much of a redesign. And now iPhone 14 is supposed to, you know, somehow make the camera bump less apparent. It's supposed to bring mm, no notch, some form of a hole punch display, maybe some pill shape design, whatever, something of that sort. It's supposed to be inspired of the iPhone 5S and the original iPhone SE design when it comes to the buttons and overall project of the device. And yeah, it sounds very cool. It sounds like the redesign may be a big thing indeed. And this is what we need because if you have watched my iPhone 13 Pro video, which I'll link in the description, you will notice that I mentioned that there was nothing wrong with the design of the 13 Pro, except the fact that the notch and fairly thicker bezels were kind of limiting compared to the competitors from the current era. So like, you know, we are behind when it comes to that screen to body ratio. So I hope iPhone 14 is gonna change that. But on the other hand, there are not gonna be many changes when it comes to the display and overall functionality of a device. It's still gonna be iOS, it's still gonna be getting software updates and pretty much the same OS as the current iPhones are doing. It's gonna run just as fast, just as smoothly because let's face it, yes, we are gonna get a new processor, but will it be a game changer? Not at all, like zero probably differences day to day. iPhones are always fast, so speed is not what we're really concerned about. Yes, it's gonna be better, how much better? Well, we are about to see that. But what I would rather expect when it comes to some more apparent changes are maybe the cameras. This is always a big deal because, you know, you cannot take the better pictures from the past. The pictures you take right now are the pictures that you will uh, be watching in 10 years and you want to have the best picture quality that's possible. And iPhone 14, as always, is going to be somewhat of a camera upgrade. It's going to bring some improvements to the camera. Uh, there are supposed to be quite significant ones like 8K, 48 megapixel sensor. I'm sure Apple is going to keep improving on their camera software, but like 13 Pro is already great. Can it be upgraded? Can it be better? Absolutely. That's what we are waiting for. That's what we hope for all the time. But the thing is that, yes, the cameras are gonna be better. Is it gonna be a game changer? For most users, not really. Uh, for some, for those of you who are really dig photography, yes, probably yes. And you know, I could just talk more and more and more about iPhone 14 leaks and rumors because uh, there's supposed to be a USB-C. Uh, I don't buy that, honestly. There's supposed to be eight gigs of RAM, maybe some satellites connectivity, whatever that stuff is rumored to be. There are also rumors of, well, there are multiple rumors if you think about that. But if you actually sit down and analyze this thing, you will realize that they all come down to basically two things. One is the redesign, quite a significant one, and the other are the camera upgrades. And this is pretty much it when it comes to the iPhone 14. Yes, when it comes to the lineup, there's no, no longer gonna be a mini phone. It's gonna be replaced with Max. But other than that, like still the same 120 Hz displays, maybe they will be brighter, maybe they will be even better when it comes to the color accuracy, but it's pretty much the same stuff. You know, it's still gonna be extremely fast. It's still gonna be an iPhone, but like the main changes are the camera and the design. Are these really significant changes? Well, I would say yes, because we as users 
and average users on general we are looking at the phone when it comes to the, the design you know we are like yes this is the newest iphone yes this is the newest design this is something new that's why the iphone 12 series was selling like crazy because it got actually some form of a redesign the bezels were, were slimmed a bit you know the squared off edges so people really went for that and now same thing may happen for the iPhone 14 where actually is supposed to happen because again it's gonna be a bigger redesign than the 12 series was and on top of that we're gonna get camera improvements which are always welcome and you know that prompts me to ask a question is it worth to wait for iPhone 14 well if you need a phone right now not really but if you wanna, if you if you can wait, and if you wanna see where Apple is heading, because iPhone 14 is gonna be somewhat of an upgrade, especially in the era when upgrades are not that big. This is gonna be supposed to be a fairly big upgrade. So if you're into that, iPhone 14, that thing is holy. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy my take on iPhone 14. If you did, again, make sure to press the like button. I would really appreciate that. Smash that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and hopefully until next time.